I'm big on energy as well. And I feel like, you know, if your energy is taken up by somebody, it's not going to be open to your like actual person. That's so, correct. Okay. This is interesting too, thinking about that. Like what about situationships? I feel like that's like a huge topic these days that, you know, my friends are all talking about it's on social media. Just what you said before about energy. It's the way I describe it. It's a supply and demand, right? Supply and demand need within our bodies and who we are. So that's why it's a bad idea to do situationships or friends of benefits or any of that rubbish. Because what it's doing, you go, a lot of girls go, well, I'll just sleep with this guy. I'll just see this guy who's okay for a while until I meet my ideal partner. But the problem is they're supplying the demand. Okay, you have a demand and that person's supplying it. You're not hungry for your ideal partner because you've got this other loser fulfilling 50% of it. Terrible idea. That's why you never do friends benefits or situationships. You're single, fully properly single, not seeing anybody or you're in a 10 out of 10 properly. And you'll know if it's a 10 out of 10 in the first month. And if it's not, you're back to single again. Just totally open, no friends or benefits ever. It doesn't matter how cute he is, if he's not your ideal partner, block and delete, get rid of him, keep it clean. Yeah, that, that completely makes sense. Like you're all in or you're not. 